You're watching Chewing the Cut with Mike Benny Rowe and Lee Robertson. Said that if you, you know, if it sinks, it's a girl ant, but if it floats, it's boy ant. And I said that sort of depending if you're subscribing to the gender binary of things. And hello, welcome to Chewing the Cud. You're right, Lily. The pain start, huh? When did the pain start, Mike? When I fell from heaven. I know that line, Lee. <sighs> what have you got for us in the showbiz? Um, I've got some news about a drag queen. Oh. Which is, you know, earth shattering. But girth shattering. Girth shattering. <laughs> Not earth shattering, girth shattering. Girth shattering. Your girth wasn't shattered before, it is now. But on screen now, you can find all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Could TV on social media, where you can follow us. The TV for our website. And on YouTube and podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have made contact spin across the bottom of the screen, we go over to Mike and the buzz. Um, have you ever been in a car accident? Many. Many? Some caused I by myself, some caused by others. I, I want to say car accident, I don't mean you've shot yourself in the car, I mean like no. you smash. Yeah, shat yourself. I was trying to be polite. I've done that. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> That's a shock. I've uh, been lying down. It was very not good. After or before? Because <laughs> if it's after, you're just sealing the Before, poop. during and after. <laughs> yeah. You have a bit of the Ds. Yeah, I thought I'll just go for a walk. And sort of midway down the walk, I was like, oh, uh-oh, <laughs> let's get back to the car. And then all... Power of, yeah, and, and, and I thought, God, I can't get in my car. I'm packing it, am I? What am I going to do? Fortunately, for such an occurrence, um, I have some bin liners in the back of my car that I... That I um, anyway, I'm share oversharing again, <laughs> so let's move on. <laughs> like, had to wipe myself clear with a Care Bear. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Full window down situation. <laughs> Your ass out the back. <laughs> it's like, oh no, you want that in the car? Um, well, this is a story about um, in, a, in a America. Okay. A spillage that's happened when a truck shed its load. Oh, okay. And by shed its load, I mean dildos. Oh. So we've had, hate we've had it this. When it happens, it I happens all it. the time. What, to you, does it? No, but this story seems to kind of. This you know, is the different time areas. You covered it. We had the. We had the. Uh, was it one in Ireland when the dildo load got, got spilled? Yes. Was the other one where somebody had put their entire dildo collection in the bin and somebody found it the day after when they took a dog no, for a walk? Just, just, found, just left a dildo. Just left a, a dildo. A, an abandoned dildo. An abandoned dildo. Yeah, yeah. Give a dildo a home for Christmas. <laughs> Keep it somewhere warm. Oh, they like it where dark. it's moist. Um, well, yes, the, <laughs> basically it's ruining people's plans as a lot full of sex toys and lube. Oh. So this was extra because it's slippy slippy. Slip and slide. Slip, oh, <laughs> you could if you wanted to. Um, but, yeah, thankfully no one was injured at that moment in time. Yeah. What I'd hate is to be kind of driving along behind them and then, like, <laughs> a recreation of, like, fatal... If not fatal attraction, final destination, oh, but it. a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Come through the screen. Impaled and decapitate you. you. <laughs> it's like... Because, you know, A&E, &E, what happened there, I don't know, but it was oh. a right dickhead. Mm. Um, he went as he wanted to go. <laughs> it's like, well, someone said he liked to be f We didn't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, it, it took a long time. Why do we need so through. many, so many dildos in the world? That's a uh, lot. Jason Donovan's song. <laughs> there's too many dildos in the Why world. Why do we need... Um, there's a lot there, isn't there? Yeah. Did they all come out of that container? Yeah, that one that wow. spilled its load. Was it like, were that people from all areas running down? You know, like sometimes when you see it on the news, on, like <laughs> ships sink and then all their cargo washes up on the beach and people, people are down it. there. Yeah. Was it like deviants? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying you're a deviant if you use a dildo. I'm not. You are. I am. You're implying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just because you're dead downstairs. Anyway, moving on. Um, have you ever had a carpenter come round? Or a tradesman? Yes. Have you ever been a bit disappointed when it's not gone the way of, shall we say, specialist movies? No. No? No, I just want the work doing and then leave my house, please. Come in, do the manual whatever it needs doing. And then, <laughs> you can't even then... say the words manual labour, can you? <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair... Uh-huh. <laughs> to be fair, it is very rare in this day and age, in mm. this world even, that 
a tradesperson mm-hmm. is is, a, is is of the caliber or oh, caliber looks. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Well, at least what at least one of us does. Um, anyway, there's a reason why I order a lot of pizza. I'm just saying. Well, there's a man who's been branded branded as the naked carpenter. Okay. Okay. Um, who's been jailed? Oh. After he's been caught wearing see-through pants. <laughs> what, why was why was that causing him to? Ooh, he's got the eyes of a serial killer. Look at his eyes. I didn't notice he had a face. <laughs> Look at them eyes. He's like, oh, I'll kill you. Um, well, um, if he's a naked carpenter, mm-hmm. then that's what's expected, isn't there? So why are they why are they saying that he's? So he's been named the the naked carpenter. That's not his oh, advertising that's not how he. That's not how he, he. Oh, okay. So um, he he appears at people's properties where they've they've asked for a carpenter, fully dressed. That no, in the nude. Oh, okay. Clothes. So open the door. Hello. It's like going. Yes, I'm here to sort out your wood. It's like. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I can see how that could be upsetting. Well, he'd just been released hours before he'd been released from prison, because he'd been convicted of doing the same thing in 2019. Oh. So. Locked away. No, you know, you don't do it again. Straight away. Out, carpenter. Straight into Whee. his skimpies. Straight into his nudity. He looks quite happy in that picture. He looks quite happy. Not the other one. Not but that one. Yeah. He, he looks like a genuinely happy chappy, to be fair. Who did he expose himself to? Um, People. People? People. <laughs> had he been booked for a job, or did he just turn up at some random house? Well, he had been booked for a job, but also walked places naked, so... Okay. He was naked. See through clothes. Who books a carpenter who's in prison? Well, he's not in prison. He was. He would been released. Okay. You just pop yourself on a job board saying I'm a carpenter. Okay. It's quite easy. <laughs> you say so. Well, yeah. So, so he, he turned up at somebody's house, old flagrante, el flagrante. That's not what el flagrante means. What does it mean? It means in, in the in the moment of sex. Well, there you go. No, he was nude. Well, or naked. Was he just completely? Did he not? Was he not holding his his tool bag belt? He was holding his tool. Okay. Oh. Yes. Ooh. Anyway, and if you've been caught being naked with your tool in your hand, please feel free to share it on social media at the Cud TV. And that brings us to our story of the week. Do you like to play chess? No. Why not? I don't know how to play chess. Okay. But so it also know. looks very boring. Well, one of the grandmasters has apparently found a new stimulating way of making it interesting. Is he shoving up his ass. Close. He's been accused of cheating. How? By having some anal beads in, which were being remotely controlled by somebody in the audience. Oh. Is that him? Uh, no. Oh. Gener- generic picture. Generic um, picture. Um, so somebody was watching in the audience and then kind of buzzing it to tell him what move to do. Allegedly. 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 So why else would you have love beads at your bottom when you're playing chess? Why would you? I mean, not? it's boring. So maybe you that's... do need something. Maybe, maybe he was thinking and contracting at the same time. Cool. Oh, no. that, that's a picture of him. We'll show it on screen now. Oh, he's quite attractive. Yeah. In a in a in a curly haired, bum not, fluff not beard attractive where... kind of way. No, 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 he's like, oh, you see, I, I was expecting a, an older gentleman, but he's a young gentleman. <laughs> Yes. Um, well, What's what... his name? I can't say his name. Hans Nijmanen. Hans Nyland. So N I E M A N N. Melania. Yeah, he's nineteen. Yes, and a grandmaster at nineteen. Who hasn't? Who hasn't been a grandmaster at nineteen and shoved anal beads up the bottom? Who hasn't? It's just part of life, isn't it? It's part of growing up. Anyway, um, well, what they said is some. He made a joke, and then said, "Well, next time I'll do it. I'll do it naked, so you can tell." Yeah, but you can see the string. Exactly. So he said, "I'll do it naked, so you can't can't accuse me of, ta- of cheating." That's what he right? wants, though, isn't it? Now, a a, a famous, um, shall we say, video streaming service, Pornhub. No, I think more of a subscription based. Oh, okay. Yeah. Only fans. Something like that. Yes. Um, has basically said, well, we'll film it for you, so if you want. Okay. So they'll they'll put they'll film him playing chess naked. Naked. That yeah. kind of takes the novelty out of it, then, doesn't it? If it's all pre-planned and calculated. <laughs> no, 
really does though, doesn't it? Takes the novelty out of seeing someone nude playing chess. The novelty... Can you play chess? I can. I, I can quite easily get my rook into queen's bishop four. I can play drafts. I can see you play drafts. But getting confused when you get to the other side and say, king me. No, I can, and that's when you put another one on top of the other one, and then you can move wherever you want to move. Yeah. Yeah, I can play that. Don't really understand um, chess. You used to just play with the horse. The knight. It's a horse. It's a knight. Poof. Um, but thankfully, that's all from the bus this week. A pleasure as always, Mike, and it is a horse, it is not a knight. And as we drift sweetly into the good night, get ready for Lee and the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Lee. So, are you aware of the work of Shangela? Drag queen Shangela. Drag queen? From RuPaul's... thing. Drag race. Yeah. Yeah, the one that doesn't have a sugar daddy, but could have a sugar, sugar daddy. But doesn't you, have a sugar no. daddy, but if you want to have a sugar daddy, but you can have a sugar daddy, because you can't not afford kind of, one. No, you're not that kind of girl. Oh, OK. Yes. Right, yeah. Okay. Hallelujah, Shangela. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, Shangela is going to make their debut on... Dancing with the Stars, which is the American version of Strictly, which is a first because they haven't ever had same-sex couples on Dancing Shandler, with the Stars. Is Shandler dancing as boy Shangela? Well, this is... The, 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 so, a couple of years ago, Courtney Act uh -huh. did the Australian version yeah. of Strictly as Courtney Act some of the time, uh -huh. and then some of the time was her male boy version, which I can't remember what Courtney Act... What's it, Shane? Like Shane, yeah. So there was like a scene where he's, she started off as, as um, Courtney Act mm -hmm. and then partway through the dance went behind the screen and, and wiped all the makeup off and became Shane. So I have okay. a feeling it's, that it's, it's kind a of a little bit... Kind of, what? what? I was doing black eyed pieces. <laughs> God. So we've got a picture of Shangela just as, you know, Shangela the drag artiste. Um, that people will kind of, just to kind of refresh you, the Hallelujah thing. Uh -huh. I, I thought she was a relatively new queen. She's been oh. going for, for years. Yeah. Like season two, she appeared. Yeah. Um, she's 14. She's been partnered with um, a 38 year old Gleb Sajinko. Oh. Mm. Um, so this makes the first drag contestant on the show's history. We've got a picture of Shangela and Gleb together. Boosh! So, yeah. Oh, he's so unattractive. Hideous, isn't he? He's deformed um, almost. So, obviously, it looks like, you know, when she's when they're training, she's not going to be dressed up in drag. But then that kind of gives me the impression that she may well be performing in drag mm -hmm. on the show. Okay. So, what she's saying is, making history says, I hope that we show people that it's all about the heart and soul of who you are as a person. It doesn't matter if it's two men dancing together or if it's a man or a drag entertainer like myself dancing together. It's about the spirit of dance and the fun, the ability to connect and to learn more about people's worlds. Um, she said that she's not technically trained dancer, but is willing to learn. Okay. Um, she's excited to learn from Gleb and hope that I can teach him a couple of things too. Well, just, just, just going, huh? oh, yeah. oh. Um, so she's kind of, so yeah, she's kind of like saying that, you know, it's drug race kind of set her up for doing television stuff. Um, they're, they're, they're kind of a little bit behind us because we've had same sex couples on our Strictly mm -hmm. for a couple of years now. Um, but yeah, she's saying that she can't wait to learn to do the tango and learn all the ballroom steps. Um, and then we've got a, just a picture of Gleb when he's taking his top off. Just a thought, you know, a bit of diversity. Oh dear. Isn't it horrible when someone lets himself oh, go like that? Oh. It's terrible. I hope he, hope he pulls it back. Oh, he's got a tattoo on his arm. He's got one of those. What does it say? What is it? Mm -hmm. I've stopped looking at his arm suddenly. Oh, okay. He's yeah. straight, so... And? You know, any relationship hopes people have no so yeah i don't know if we i think we can see fluid. if you go if you have the if you have the dongles you can um <laughs> you can look at television from america right okay if yeah. you've got the dongles if you've got the dongles and the things that plug in then you can <laughs> i've got the dongles okay. yes um so highbrow television now highbrow television 
So Love Island bosses. Oh, oh I'm oh. sorry. They're, 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 so they've been called out for years about the lack of diversity. Because it's and, logistically difficult. Yeah. So they, they're making teeny tiny steps. So they're planning to launch a spin-off series with middle-aged singletons looking for love. So the new series of, of Love Island, they will take singletons in their 40s and 50s, mm -hmm. heterosexual, they've not, they've not progressed that far, um, to be matched up, now this is a weird bit, to be matched up with a partner by their children. So their children kind of pair them up. Um, we've got a picture of, because of, Love Island is all over the world. This is Love Island USA. Mm -hmm. um, which is just as vapid and horrific as the I, UK to version. To be fair, that looks a little bit more diverse than the UK version. Well, yeah, but it's all it's still all like body beautiful. Body beautiful and, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that, but at least we've got some ethnic changes. Yeah. So the show will see middle-aged people looking for love as they will be set up by their own children while on a retreat. Okay. Um so it's it's <laughs> it's currently still in the work. The working title is Logistically Your Mom, Difficult. My dad. Your mum, my dad. And it's set to filming, it's going to start filming this year to be shown next year. Um, <laughs> the producer said this show will give those who settle down young a second chance at love while they still feel in their prime. And that's good. I'm so glad, that's positive. I'm glad that they're being positive about it. Yeah. It's just... And it kind of, let's face it, you know, people over the age of 30 are still capable of getting it on with each other. Um, and so, yeah, and this could possibly what it could look like. Um, yeah, so that's something I will not be watching, but is there for people to watch. They just need to get they just, uh, fingers out the bottoms and do a <laughs> do an LGBTQI version. No, 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 no. They don't need to do an LGBTQI version. They just need to get a great version of people from all spectrums and all walks of life and then put them together. You Two just people. want them to have an orgy, don't you? That's what Love Island is. Yeah. It's an orgy with a ticketing system. Mm. Cashier number four, please. <laughs> oh, I'm with Sarah this week. What? It's, mm. it's not highbrow entertainment. It's not. Right, and they, they purposefully exclude people from different so like sexual genders and orientations. I know they do, but I don't make the show. Don't get angry with me. I'm just filling a bit of air Logistically time. difficult. <laughs> I'll show them the distance. Anyway, let's move on to something. Yes, let's. Something else. Something, just anything. Let's talk Zac about Efron. toilet paper. Let's talk about Zac Efron. Right. So he he has just <laughs> he's revealed that he's he's not going to be a vegan anymore. Good. Not going to be a vegan anymore. So he's explained why he stopped being vegan after two years of being a vegan. Can't deal with the farts. Uh, <laughs> so initially he became vegan after he was inspired by his co-host on the, the show Down to Earth, Darren Olean. So if you remember that show, he kind of went all around the world and kind of did... top off a lot. Yeah, top off a lot. Getting wet, sweaty. Doing stuff, yeah. Um, so he's previously kind of championed the benefits of living a plant-based life. Mm -hmm. He's gone back to eating meat. We've got a picture of, of, of a Zac Efron glow-up. So, okay. so we've got this, that Zac Efron... Channeling a different language there. So for Zac Efron... Uh-huh. High school musical days. Yeah. Cute, very innocent. Yeah. And then we've got Daddy Zach. Yes. Which I'm fully on board with. I, I'm on board with both, to Are be fair. Are you? Yeah. Kendall. Well, it's, it's yeah, not a smooth area. No, but that's kind of it's the It's a functional. Um, so he's done an interview for Men's Health magazine where she said, morally, of course, I still wish I was vegan. It's just my body can't hack it anymore. So he explained that while he wholeheartedly believes in veganism, his body wasn't processing vegetables in the right way. So he opted for... <laughs> uh, my body isn't processing vegetables the right way. So I would imagine he got a lot of pumpy pumps and he perhaps soiled himself every now and again. tried to <laughs> eat them by shoving them up his rectum. Well, I don't know. I mean, if he wants to. Well, you know... Every hole's a goal. Um, so he's opted for a new diet, Never saying that, <laughs> saying that saying. now isn't the time or the place to put pressure on himself and no. people in general. <laughs> um, so his new diet, see, this is where it kind of, his new diet features himself intermittent fasting, two I'm meals a, a day. I'm good at intermittent fasting. Like when you're asleep yeah. and then when you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and clean meats. And by that, he means chicken or elk. Elk? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I mean, where do you get an elk from? Why is he saying chicken like they said turkey? Because turkey's like leaner than chicken. Yeah. 
Oh, America's got chlorinated chicken as well. Oh, yeah, they pump it full of crap, don't they? Chloe. And water and stuff. Stuff. Anyway, so he said, I decided to stop it and try something new. Intermittent fasting has been really helpful with that. Started intermittent... He started intermittent fasting, and after stop being vegan, he just said that was just the way to go. So he loads of old guff about when he does it and what time and blah de blah de blah So the whole idea is that he gets enough nutrition to... St so he gets enough nutrition. I'm so excited by it. Um, to get himself through the day. Um, you can't get yourself through this story, though, can you? He <laughs> says, so, and that's not all. Oh, because wow. Zach is also partial to a less popular type of meat. This is kind of weird, but I really like organ meats. I do too. I like liver and onions. Uh, no. Mm. He means awful. Yeah. So basically, what he's saying, like, saying is that when he was like in th films like Baywatch, he put mm. himself under a huge amount of pleasure. 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 He put himself pleasure. under a huge amount of pleasure. He himself from morning <laughs> till night. That's how you got the very big arms. The <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so he's given himself permission to sort of let up and eat what he wants to eat. Well, to be fair, you know, if he's craving something, he'll have it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So we've got a new, so he's got a new film out. Okay. It's something about beer, all the beer in the world, something like that. Apparently, it's been completely trashed by the critics. Um, however, we've got a picture of him, and he's looking quite fit. Tash, would you like a ride on that moustache? You wouldn't, you wouldn't turn that I down. I wouldn't say no. It's Zac Efron. Yeah. So, yeah. Go and see those new films. Him and Chris want. Hemsworth. Sandwich. Oh, together. Oh, OK. And Jason Momoa. I don't oh, no. What do you mean, no? Long hair. I'm put it in a bun. I'm going to Anyway, to. so they got it. Zach Efron is no longer vegan, but he morally wants to be. <laughs> That's what you say, isn't it? To one of you gentlemen callers. What? I want to be vegan, but I can't help it. Not quite vegan. Anyway, that's the end of this week's news. I like I don't want to take... No, I'm not going to go there. Um, well, thank you for that, Lee. Stick around, because coming up, we have our Game of the Week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're going to play Faster Hind. And this one is for our very own Magnus Magnuson. Well, Magnum from Walls. Lee, off you pop. You've already unplugged yourself. I am, I'm just gathering my piles to go. Game of the Week. So I have a, a range of questions here. General knowledge. You get to choose the topic and then um, answer the question to try to get it right. So, okay. Would you like history, religion, the arts, sports, entertainment, geography, or science? Well, as I am known for my entertainment knowledge, I will go for that. Entertainment. Yay! Which performer's mother has sued him twice for slander? Just Bogan. Um, ooh! Which performer's mother has sued the performer twice for yes, slander. for slander. I'm going to say Jennifer Aniston. Nope. Oh. You're going to kick yourself when you find out. Is it Sheila Booth? Think about chocolate. Little chocolates in a bag. Maltesers? Eminem. Oh, Eminem. Eminem. <laughs> A well-known celebrity Malteser. Yes. <laughs> They're floaty like. Love her stuff. OK, so um, you've got geography, nature, science, sports, arts and religion. Geography and nature, please. Huh? Geography and nature, please. OK. What is another name for an artificial body part? And it's not strap-on. <laughs> oh, I know this one. OK, I'll say it then. No, it, it, but it's there. It's somewhere in there. It's just trying to find it. Some kind of rummaging round. <laughs> oh! oh this bag's got nothing but comic books in it. <laughs> Why is he storing broken ornaments? <laughs> oh, I, I don't know, but I do know, but I don't know. So you're going to pick a word and see what happens? Prosthetic. Yes. Can I do good, Daddy? <laughs> oh, wow. No. 
Never again. <laughs> Never again. Pick a topic quickly. Um, geography. The islands of the Seychelles are on which ocean? On which what? Ocean. Body of water. Sea. It's not the Mediterranean. Okay. So that's where Spain and stuff is. Okay. It's not the. It's not the Pacific. Aye. Because that's quite cold. Aye. The question is which which Isles of Ocean on which ocean is it? Not which ones aren't it. I know, but I'm working through my my de, 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 deduction. So you've named two at the minute. The Balearic Ocean. <laughs> the Indian Ocean. Oh, is it? Yeah. Where's the Balearic Ocean? Well, I know there's something called the Balearics. You mean the Bolero? Been off on my tits there in the summer. Oos, 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 oos. The Balearic, Balearic Islands. Islands. A pizza. Going to a pizza. Woo! Anyway, come on, we've got time. Let's get on with it. History, religion, the arts and music, science, invention, sports and pastimes. History and religion, because I feel like insulting somebody. <laughs> By what name is the Roman Catholic prayer to the Virgin Mary based on the angel Gabriel's greeting better known? Say so what now? By what name is the Roman Catholic prayer to the Virgin Mary based on the angel Gabriel's greeting better known? Hail Mary. Yes. Woo! <laughs> So, the arts and music, sports and pastime, science and invention. I'll go for arts and music. What did Jefferson Airplane evolve into in 1970? They were like a band, weren't they? The prog rock band. Surprisingly, in the arts and music, yes, they were. Jefferson Starship. Yes. <laughs> that was like a total <laughs> guess as well. Sports and pastimes or science and invention. Did they sing? Du, 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 du. Built this city on rock and roll. Did they sing that? I don't know. Sports and pastimes or science and invention. Sports and pastimes. German swimmer Michael Gross was nicknamed after which bird due to his seven foot arm span? Seven foot? Oh. An albatross. No. Yes, it was. It was, you're right. You've read these cards. I haven't. I'm just feeling very intelligent right at this very moment. Okay. I'd be quick, because it won't laugh. <laughs> Science Inventions, your last one. What? Shuffling eh? the cards. Shuffling See, the gone. cards. It's gone. Science and industry and what? Four common states of matter are solid, liquid, plasma and... Gas. Gaseous. Indeed. It is you, <laughs> gas. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. I'm on fire. <laughs> anyway, um, next one. I'm going for entertainment and celebrity. Okay. Which sexy, sexy French Sh actor split from Kylie Monaghan in 2007? Oh, boo. We don't like him, Kylie stands. Oliver Martinez. Yes. Boo. Why are you booing someone? He's, he's not, he wasn't nice. Was he not nice? Not nice to our Kylie. Our Kylie. Our Kylie, not yours. Mine. I've never snubbed her in publicly. Yeah, but that was a plan. It's a part of a plan. And how's that plan working for you? It didn't work at all. No. Which country's cars display the international registration letters LV? Latvia. Yes. <gasps> oh my God, what is happening? I'm not even asking that question because I know the answer to that one. Who accompanied Howard Carter in the discovery of the tomb of Tutankhamun? Oh, because they all died. Um, Lord, Lord Carnarvon. No. Oh, no! <laughs> it was Lord Carnarvon. No, it was Earl of Carnarvon. Well, I was still, oh, no, no, that's not <laughs> fair because it was just semantics with the beginning of the name. Carnarvon no, no. was the most important <laughs> no. part. Chris did not a lord, he's an earl. Oh, God damn it. Week is over. <sighs> Not really, because I got part of it right. South Australia's Barossa Valley is famous for which main industry? You have what's the word when you're 
South Australia. Australia? South Australia? Yeah. Barossa Valley is famous for which main industry? I'm going to say diamond mining. No, wine. What is it? Wine. Oh, you can f*** it, is that? It's got angry with my brain now. We just piss off brain. Camera. What is wine it? Wine making. I can't see it. Wine making. Oh. Watch the program on it. Oh. You should be able to get this one. Who had a UK 2000 number one with My Love? Do, 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 do. My love, my love, my lovely lady lumps. No, it's not that one. Um, is it, was it Enrique Iglesias? No, it was Westlife. Oh, no! <laughs> Which spacecraft launched in 1977 has travelled the greatest distance from Earth? A real one or an imaginary one? Like from a television programme. An imaginary one? Like like the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> no, an actual oh. thing. Um, the... Oh! Oh, my God. The... Um, oh! The, it's some, oh, I know it. It's something... Exp I'm going to say the Explorer, but I know it's not that. It's what? I was going to say the Explorer, but I know it's not that. The Explorer? Yeah. Your streak's back. Is it back? No, it's Voyager. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In the Spice Girls 1997 single, Wannabe, what did they threaten to do if you really bug them? Say goodbye. Yeah, but they did it in tune. Yes. It's really bad me, then I'll say goodbye. Okay. Who married Mia Farrow at the Sands in Las Vegas on the 16th of July, 1966? Oh. Oh. Um, oh, it, oh. little man. Um, oh. 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 Director, uh -huh. made loads of films, then... Um, <laughs> Are you thinking of Woody Allen? Yeah. It was Frank Sinatra. Oh! Well, that's it. Enough of that. After this break, it's time to get our craft on and crafty queens. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time for what one person described as what in the GCSE arts and crafts is that thing? It's Crafty Queens. I think you'll find that's doing a disservice. I would more describe it as an A-level art project. The word uh, A something. Anyway, this week we're revisiting a very popular activity that we did a number of episodes ago with 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 the delightful Paris um, who loved it so much that they took theirs home with them promptly put it in the bin Ugh, rude anyway so it was so we're gonna it's kind of a same theme different kind of character okay so before you you have a a rubber glove or a, or a plastic glove I have a glove yeah I want you to take that and place that in front of you uh-huh Locate your, your glue. Yeah. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put a dab of glue yeah. on the thumb of the glove. Uh-huh. Okay. And then a dab of glue on what would be the little finger of the glove. Okay. Okay. And then what you're going to do is fold those two in so that they stick onto the palm of the glove. Okay. So what you should be left with is... Disappointment. It's, it's like three little fingers. Three little fingers! Um, just kind of remaining. Okay. Okay. Now the middle one of those fingers... Uh-huh. You want to put some glue on. Okay. And fold that in as well. 
Okay. So, what you should be left with is just like, like a rock finger, like... Okay. Like that. It's yep. not going to be a rock finger. So, turn it over so it's on the flat side. Okay. Your choice of marker. Uh-huh. You're going to draw... So, what, I don't want to tell you exactly what the hell you're going to have to do. It's going to... You're making a rabbit. Right. So, draw on two little eyes. Do, do, do. No, gallery isn't the same shit I did last week. It's a variation of the shit that I did the other week. <laughs> so I'll give it two eyes and then a little rabbit nose. And then a little rabbit mouth. <sighs> oh. Gonna give it some teeth. Um, and then some whiskers. Oh, that was a colour I wasn't expecting. All right. Okay, so when you've done that, you should also have a little tiny, little tiny bow tie. Oh. A stripper? No, it's a, it's a magician's rabbit. And then just a bit of glue, pop that on. Okay. Un underneath. It's math. All right. Okay, now set that aside for now. In the bin? No, just on the side. Okay. And then take your um, glamorous cup. Yeah. Okay. And um, what you're going to do is, like we did last time, very carefully, take your pair of scissors. Yeah. And make a small hole, which is kind of big enough to fit your straw through, towards the bottom of the cup. Okay. Will your straw fit through? Yes. Okay, right. Just hold it up again. I'm just, I was concentrating on my own. I just want to see that you're not being stupid. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Right, okay. So, oh, no, right, okay. Set your straw out for, just stare out for a second. Right. Right. You should have a, <laughs> you should have a blue, uh, no, black sphere. I have a black rim. Black rim, yeah. Pop that through the cup at the base and then reinsert your straw. Okay. Because this is going to, so if you turn it up right like that, it's a little hat. It's a little magician's hat. Do, do, do. Um, so, what we're going to do now is take your little rabbit. Uh huh. And like we did last time, open it up. Put that over the top of the uh -huh. cup. Okay, now to secure it in place. Yeah. We're not going to use a rubber. What have you drawn on your hand? Nothing, I'm, do I'm doing Crafty Queens. Have you drawn a profanity on your hand? I have not drawn a profanity on my hand, no. Okay, so put your, put your um, rabbit on, and then I have provided you with, so we're not a rubber, um, not a rubber band this time. We've got some very fancy um, sparkly trim. What's this? That's the sparkly trim. But I have got a rubber band. You don't really need the rubber band. Okay. So peel, this is sticky, sticky back plastic. So peel the paper off. And then you're going to secure the actual rabbit onto the cup by putting the whole thing in fire. All the way round. Right. Like that. Okay. Now, what you might also need to do is to get the... If you put the rim of your hat over it, that'll keep it in place. Okay. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking it? good. Okay. So I'm going to clear clear all my stuff. Uh, are, we, are we doing okay? We're we doing okay. People that have watched the show before, yeah, know that I have a, a little dog called George, who's howling away in the barking away in the gallery. And for those people that don't speak dog, he's going, "What the hell are you doing?" Oh, he's saying that is amazing. No, it's not. It's... Can you make me one at home? Yeah. See, he went yes. 
Are we done? Right. Okay, okay, now I have provided you with every magician's tool of a, of a little magic wand. Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. Or abracadabra, whatever you want to say. So pick pick your pick your cup up, place the um, straw in your mouth. Shall I go first? Yeah, why not? Okay. Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. Do, 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 do. He barked in time! He went, row, row. All right. Because he's just barking non stop, that's why. I made a rabbit appear! Yay! Yay! That is really good. I'm really impressed by that. I even bet I think this is better than the um whatever it was that we did last time, the wavy eye man thing. You try now, mate. You try now. You didn't do easy with what My way? rabbit is waving. Why is your rabbit sad? Huh? Because it's having to endure this for a second time. <sighs> You just don't feel the joy. Anyway, that's it. That's all. That, that's it. It's just that. The same stuff we did last time in Crafty Queens. But it's a magician's hat and a rabbit coming out. Yay! Do, 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 do. There we go. So, <laughs> dear viewers, it, don't be right and help me on your hand. You know that doesn't work. <laughs> I'm sorry. As usual, we, although you know not a single viewer has ever sent in a picture of anything that they've recreated. Because nobody does it. They're actually going, no. I was hoping for a bowl out of a bowl at least, but it's never happened. Anyway, remember, if you can't get yourself any peen or any vagine or anything in between, be a crafty queen. That's what that phrase needs, extra lines. <laughs>